Welcome to Sequoia National Wildlife Refuge. I'm Greg Dish with Greg Dish Photography. This is our photo destination for this video. We're going to explore the refuge, try to do some wildlife photography, and hopefully come up with some pretty nice shots today. The truth is, I've already been out here shooting, but when I got here it was nearly dark, and I didn't have enough light to make this video. So, I'm going to make it now, and uh, we'll catch up with the rest of it in just a little bit. I saw a couple of baby raccoons running across the road, so I stopped, and I figured they must have climbed up into this tree. So I spent about 10 minutes waiting, looking, finally saw one of them peeking out of a small hole in it and uh, got a few shots and then I got another one playing around on the branches a little bit. After a few minutes they, uh, they hid and I've not been able to see them since but I did get some nice shots, a couple of portraits and I'll hang around a little bit longer and see if they come back out. But uh, I think they may have got tired of me. Um, so we'll, we'll see what we can get. I'm out at Sally Jones Lake. And I found a uh, white egret out here in the lake. Hoping to maybe get some, some action shots of it catching a fish. So far, it doesn't seem to be doing just a whole lot. Uh, we'll, we'll watch it a little bit and, and see what we end up with. We may or not end up with a uh, fabulous shot, but it, it's just pretty being out here today. Looks like this has been pretty successful. We managed to get a couple of uh, nice shots of the, the egret catching a fish. A couple of them actually. I managed to catch one of them on video. And then I got some nice still shots of it, of it catching another one. Uh, we may, may even try to get another one or two. But overall this has been a successful stop. I'm at an area now that I know to be frequented by a couple of owls and we're going to see if we can't find them today and uh, get some pictures of the owls.
I'm at the Reeves Slough area of the Sequoia National Wildlife Refuge. It's late fall, it's, it's mid-October. A couple of months ago, the lotus flowers and the lily pads were absolutely gorgeous through here. Bright yellow flowers. Now, in the fall, they're all dying off and make for kind of an eerie scene, but still beautiful. The Wildlife Refuge is not only for protecting our wildlife, but it's a recreational opportunity. There's two paved, handicap accessible hiking trails on the slough. One is the Horse and Slough trail Trailhead, which runs along this creek for approximately a half a mile, and loops around and comes back on the other side. Makes a great little hike and there's a lot of possibilities for photography along the way. Well, I just had an opportunity to photograph a bald eagle. I was driving down the road and saw it up in a tree. I stopped and I had a decision to make because at the bottom of the tree along the river there was a great blue heron fishing along the river so I did manage to get a couple of shots of the heron and some shots of the eagle. The eagle flew off, circled a couple of times and I was able to get some really nice shots, bird in flight of a bald eagle. What a great day this is going to be. This is my first blog video that I've done for YouTube and so I've got a lot to learn. I will produce additional videos in the future. Hopefully I will continue to improve on my content, my ability to put a video together. And if you enjoyed this content and, and want to see more in the future, please like and subscribe and you'll be notified of new videos when I make them. The information on this destination can be located on my website, www.gregdish.com, where I also have additional locations for photographic destinations with maps, information, photos, everything you need to know about the destination. Thank you very much for watching.